Hello and welcome Magic players to this unfortunate news video. Uh, what we're going to be doing here is just proving that it is indeed possible to hack, customize, and randomize your sealed pools in Magic 2014. Um, I'm assuming it's possible on every platform. We're just going to load Magic up real quick uh, just to establish the baseline. I'm assuming it's possible on every platform. I'm not 100% sure as uh, I don't really know if other I, whatever I don't know I've only I've only tested it and done it with Steam um, so that's the only one that we're gonna showcase here and uh, it's highly unfortunate as the point of sealed is to not have customized decks so we're just gonna take a quick gander first at what we have here um, we can see that I have a green white deck of some kind and then I got an Azorius flyers real quick so I mentioned that there's ways to customize and hack stuff and there's also another way to just randomize everything as if you were opening nine brand new boosters we're gonna do both I'm not gonna showcase them a hundred percent because I don't want to tell people how to do it I just want to inform people that it is possible to do it and uh, it's pretty much gonna make me not want to play sealed ever but uh, what can you do so just gonna sort this stuff by cost let's take the artifacts off first and we're just going to look at my one and two drops here, you know, some Condemns, a Sliver, a couple Mighty Leaps, and then we get to the three cost. So you notice that there's no White Knight. Let's look in the deck here. Sliver, Spirit Mantle, Pacifisms, and then we get to the three drops. I have no White Knight in this deck. Just make a note of that. We're going to sort it by artifacts, and now we see a Crumbling Colossus over here. To prove the hacking works, all I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this Colossus, and I'm going to give myself a white knight, which we'll see later on in the video in like 10 minutes or whatever. Um, and that's what we're going to do there. And then with this deck, we're just going to show edit your sealed deck. We're going to see that obviously it's just got green white right there. And looking at my wonderful rares of triple indestructibility with redirect and mind spring, it's amazing. We're just going to see that get randomized and give me anything better because you cannot get worse than that. That's terrible rares. I use two rares between the combined total of these two decks. It's bad. It's pretty bad. So, of all people, I'm the one who should be using this stuff, but I will not use my powers for the forces of evil. They shall be used for good. So here we are. All you need, unfortunately, to do this is a little bit of patience, a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of trial and error and effort, and, uh... A nice little hexadecimal converter is the basic thing that you need right here. Um, this notepad file that we have open is just the listing that instead of you know going through how to pull this out because that's you know a little bit of a pain and you don't really need to do it every single time. Um, this is just the code for what the game considers every card to be in hexadecimal. So it shows us what all these things are and. Uh, how to input them as far as what we need. So we, we see here White Knight. White Knight is labeled with a certain number and then Crumbling Colossus over here is also labeled as a certain number. And we're just going to really keep that in in mind. So what we're going to do first is open up our hexadecimal thing. I'm going to try and move stuff between double monitors so that I'm purposely not showing everything that's going on because again I don't want to show everything that's going on. So we can see here, I'm going to click on a certain file up there, and then it opens up a bunch of stuff in hex that's, uh, you know, a bunch of stuff in hex. It's a lot of numbers. So I'm going to scroll down until where I feel like I need to be. Uh, where do I need to be here? Scroll down until I find stuff. All right, I'm going to scroll down to here. And now what we need to do is we need to find the code for Crumbling Colossus, which I already highlighted, and at this point I just kind of remember it. Colossus was 109, which is a 6D in hexadecimal. And then White Knight, where was he? White Knight, White Knight, White Knight, White Knight. Learn to read, learn to read. There we go. White Knight up at the top is number 69, which is hexadecimal 45. So in addition to a few things that are slightly more complex, I'm going to find the code for my crumbling Colossus and replace him with the code 45 for White Knight. I'm then going to save, I'm going to close this down, I'm going to open it again, I'm going to open a different file, as you can see this one's just 1KB, I'm going to open that up, I'm going to minimize this for a second, and then go to the command prompt, 
in the command prompt I'm gonna do a couple little things not too big of a deal one code two code and then drag and drop that we're going to drag and drop that hit enter and then it gives me some codes on the other side of this command prompt that I don't want to showcase so that we don't see exactly how to do it um, although I do need to move this over so that I can see it myself after I open this window up and so now that I have this little extra code in my command prompt I just have to edit in a certain code do a certain something make a couple more tiny changes let's see that change let's make that change okay that change and then this one last little change right there we're gonna save that close this as we no longer need it close this as we no longer need it and then one more thing that was just the customization so now boom it is official all I have to do is load up magic and that will be there but that's only one of the two things we wanted to show where is my other here we go there's another thing I wanted to show for people who want to just randomize things in case they don't think that getting infinite different packs of nine packs is not cheating for somehow because um, that's completely not the point of sealed uh, we're gonna randomize the second slot the one we edited was the first slot the Azorius flyers and now the second one is what we're going to change we're gonna randomize that and we have a successful randomization so close that thank you thanks for playing so now that'll be randomized and then now we're just gonna have one quick little change left we're gonna take that we're gonna take that we're gonna make one change there one change there and boom now everything should be done so in my first deck I should have that one change from Colossus to White Knight and in the second deck it should be totally randomized giving me a, a brand new thing of nine packs all already opened up you don't have to replay the campaign and uh, we're just waiting for magic to open up for a second and that's what we'll see we'll just see a bunch of new cards no more triple indestructibility um, at least I freaking hope not <laughs> and uh, that's all there's gonna be to it. it technically in a way you could argue it just prevents you from saving two dollars to buy new slots but at that point you're just paying and paying and paying and paying and paying to win anyway and you know that kind of also defeats the purpose of sealed like I have two bad sealed pools and I'm fine with that but whatever so we can instantly see there's a change right here it's no longer just green white it is now officially five colors but first we're gonna check the hacked customization we're gonna drop down to cost look at white cards and there you go now I magically have a white knight that you guys saw I did not have before he was not there we're gonna double check my artifacts my staves there's no longer a colossus here so that is proof that unfortunately we are able to hack and customize edit our sealed pools and then let's double check this randomization right here boom inferno titan no more triple indestructibility guys i got inferno titan we got a hypnotic specter over here that's amazing what else is in this nighthawk double firebrand with a molten birth that's crazy that's some really good stuff I see a brittle effigy here that's crazy this is not autocomplete let's just reset this and take a look at everything else we have just for fun oh and a grave titan <laughs> when I first saw what the possible sealed pools were I was like hey just give me a grave titan give me an inferno titan Shivan dragon earthquake hypnotic specter brittle effigy I freaking got four of those I love this pool this pool is amazing it makes me so happy so happy let's put in a couple of these things Let's just have some triple firebrand? What? That's dumb. Put in Molten Birth, put in Gravedigger, put in Vampire, Tutor, Urgh, triple turn to slag, Jesus. I could play Mono Red with this. I really could play Mono Red with this. This is insane. That's crazy. Double, triple murder too? Holy crap. Why couldn't this have been one of my two regular sealed pools? I would have been so much happier. I would have been so much happier. Nice, a Black Knight down there, and a Shock, just for good measure. Oh, boy. Alright, well, we're already at 23 cards, and I'm just, like, putting crap in for funsies. Um, put in a couple of elixirs there to su shuffle through all my spells and get them back. <laughs> Only eight creatures, whoops. Okay, so this would, this would definitely need some work, um, but that's crazy. So there we go. 
Unfortunately, it is proof that uh, you can randomize and get completely new packs if you want. Um, you can still absolutely take these online. We'll just make a room real quick. Uh, create match, sealed play. Yeah, if I wanted to do that, I absolutely could. No one's going to join my game anyway. That's fine. Um, and uh, the risk, if you do these things wrong, would be a complete reset and deletion of all your stuff. It asks you how much magic you've played, it gives you a new promo code, um, and it goes all the way back down to that. So if you don't want to do all this stuff and you screw up, or you want to take it back, well, too bad. Just kidding. It's not too bad. It will delete your stuff. That's not a joke. It will reset back to normal. So if you purchased any deck keys or foil unlocks or whatever, um, then too bad you lose it all. But unfortunately, it's not too difficult just to go right back to where you were. And now, we're, now that I've made that quick little change, I'm just going to load magic up one more time just to verify that it is possible to go back and that there's really no risk as long as you do a couple quick things to make a precaution. Um, come on. Come on, magic. There we go. Man, I had double titan and hippie. I should have seen what it gave me with auto build. That's what I should have done. What would it auto build me? Uh, single player, sealed, and now we're right back down to our green whites with our triple indestructibility, as unfortunate as that is. God, it's so frustrating. There's zero rares in this deck, FYI. I use zero rares. You can see all nine of them. I could use the spider, but he doesn't fit my theme. And then plus it's fun just to say I have no rares when I'm beating people up. <laughs> and then we go back here, looking at our uh, artifacts, we can see that now I have my Crumbling Colossus back, unfortunately, and I no longer have my White Knight in front of Mighty Leap. So there is proof, ladies and gentlemen, that Sealed is officially broken. Do with the knowledge what you will, if it makes you want to buy 20 slots till, until you get something like I just randomized for myself, that would have been good. Um, or don't play Sealed. Or play sealed without buying slots, and when you play people with perfect decks or just get beat down in the face by stuff that's crazy as hell, uh, just kind of shrug it off, I guess. I've literally played at least two people that had perfect decks to the point where if you gave me four copies of every single card in the sealed pool that we have available to us, I probably could not build something better. So he, he built an amazing deck. Congrats to that dude, it was amazing. That must have taken a couple hours of editing and, you know, whatever, and tweaking, and I can't imagine. But, you know, congratulations to him, I guess. Have fun winning every single game you play, completely ruining Sealed for the rest of us, to which Sealed was the biggest draw to Magic 2014, you know? Sealed is my favorite format, and unfortunately it's kind of ruined on Steam. Not, I don't know. Not too many people, I think, would know how to do this stuff or be able to do this stuff. I don't think the knowledge is that widespread. Um, so I don't, I don't know. It's probably a very small proportion of people, but the fact that it's possible... Again, people with bad sealed pools aren't going to play online. Like, my sealed pools are bad, so maybe every now and then I'll try a couple of games just to see. I'll lose all my matches and then I won't play sealed again for a week or whatever. You don't really find people with bad decks on sealed. And I don't think that's just because of what I've now shown in this video. I think that's just because people with bad decks realize the, the decks are bad and they don't play. And people with godly decks want to play all the time because they're going to crush people. So that's why I stick to 1v1 and two-headed giant. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, unfortunately, this is all just bad news. Again, I don't know if it works with all the multiple platforms. I would assume it would be possible. I can't say for sure, nor would I know how to do that. Um, it's just speculation, really, because people who know people who know how to do stuff with computers can do some crazy things that I can't even imagine. It's mind-boggling. But there you go. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. I guess, even though there's nothing, there's no good news here. There's all bad news. It's all evil. And I just wanted to showcase that it was indeed possible and it is indeed stupid. So thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy. Uh, hopefully I'll see you guys later. Um, be sure to spread the word, and, uh, well, take it easy. 15 minutes of sadness. <laughs> Catch you later. Peace.